Hi friends, in the previous tutorial, we have seen various Git operation using Total Git. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create branches in Git. Let's begin. First of all, we will create a branch in the remote server and then fetch it to the local file system. This is our agenda. Now, as you see, we have only one branch in the remote server and the branch name is master. To create a new branch out of this master, we need to be present within the master branch. Since we are already in the master branch and we want it to create a another branch whose name is develop from the master branch. So we just write the name of the branch that we want to create. As you see, as we type in, it shows create branch develop from master. Just click this. As soon as you click, it creates the branch develop and show that develop branch to you. It is the exact replica of the master branch. So the recommended way of creating the branch is through remote server and then fetch it to the local file system. After that you can perform operations at local file system and finally push them to the remote server. Now in order to in order to bring this branch to the local file system we will perform git fetch using totals git. Just go to the folder totals git tutorials that we have already cloned and we are currently in the master branch. So just perform fetch operation to bring that develop branch to the local file system. Just click OK. It will fetch the newly created branch and create a remote tracking branch in the local file system. As you see in the left side we have a branch in the remote server whose name is master and remote tracking branch is origin slash master. We have a branch develop in remote server and a remote tracking branch origin slash develop in the local file system. Now the third step is to switch to the develop branch in the local file system. Just right click go to totals git switch or check out select the branch to which you want to check out. Now we have seen that it has created a remote tracking branch whose name is origin slash develop. You just have to check out from this branch. It will automatically create a branch with the name develop. You can type in any an, an other name over here. It will create that branch and track with this remote tracking branch. So by default this is the convention that we keep the name same as that of the remote tracking branch that is develop on the suffix and develop at the local branch name. Just click OK. You see that if you close it you will see that we are in the develop branch. So this branch so we have develop branch in the local file system and develop branch in the remote server. So in this way we have created the branch develop and now the sec and now the further step is that we would we would modify this file and send this file to the remote server. Open the home.html file. Just modify any line here. So we have modified home.html file in the develop branch and now the step is that we need to add this to the staging area then commit and finally push it to the remote server. So we have already edited the file. Now we need to stage this file. How we can stage this file? Go to totals git add. Just have to go to git commit. It will automatically add the modified file to the staging area and write the commit message.
it can be any message but it should be meaningful and related to the commit you are actually doing so we have performed the add and commit operation now it is in sync with the local branch now the step is to push these changes to the remote branch go to totals git push in the push operation it will first show the local branch develop and this is remote tracking branch develop first it will update the remote tracking branch then that changes would go to the remote server in this operation it will ask for the credentials if you click on ok it will ask for the credentials and you need to fill in the credentials if you are working with ssh then this sort of things would not happen again and again as you see we have sent the develop branch changes to the remote server if you refresh this remote server and you will see that this file home.html is being edited so in this way we have seen that how to create branch in the remote server and then fetch it to the local file system and finally make changes in the local branch and push the changes back to the remote server so the entire agenda the of this tutorial is to learn how to create branch and how to push changes to the remote server in the upcoming tutorials we will be seeing how to merge changes in the branch and what is the best way of merging thank you for watching and keep subscribing